So thank you everyone for being here. I wanted to talk to you about the power of mindfulness and meditation. And the reason was more about cultivating a sense of inner peace and well-being. So I'm Tulsi, and the reason I'm here to talk about a practice, not because Josh labeled me as an expert, is because for me, this type of practice has actually transformed the lives across the globe, mindfulness and meditation. And the reason that is close for me is because I didn't actually take these practices seriously. I didn't take them seriously enough until I really did need them the most. And it was basically the last option that I could take for my mental, physical, and emotional well-being. And as a coach, as often is the case with other coaches, we always put our clients, our teams, our athletes, all ahead of our own mental, physical, and emotional wellness. Now I know if you saw a person working 80 hours a week, we would strategize ways to support their recovery, right? If they were high executives, and they were sedentary, we would task them with small dose training protocols. If we see somebody experiencing high stress, we would look at their metrics and we'd provide ways for them to reduce their stress. But as coaches, we make do. We get the job done until we can just no longer work as efficiently at a high extreme level for a long period of time until we break. So I could easily reel off my merits and my experiences and my qualifications, but that only gets us so far. And eventually it won't mean much if you can't get the results. Yes, I've worked with children with cerebral palsy. I've worked with able-bodied children. I've worked in gyms and schools. I've worked at pitch side. I've worked in corporate gyms. And they gave me all this experience as a coach, but as a practitioner, knowing what tools to integrate into your own daily rituals will give you the edge that most coaches forget to emphasize. And that is why mindfulness and meditation is important here. If you can't find that inner peace and well-being, nothing, no thing, no environment will bring it for you, no matter how hard you search. Believe me, I've tried. And so mindfulness, it is a practice of being fully present and engaged in the moment without judgment or distraction. It involves paying attention to our thoughts, feelings, body sensations, and the surrounding environment with acceptance and kindness. Meditation is a deliberate practice that cultivates mindfulness and trains the mind to focus and quieten. And it comes in various forms. We can have mindfulness meditation, we can have loving kindness meditation, we can have body scan meditation. And before I reel off the benefits of why we need to practice this, I want to get you into one example of one type of practice. But before we start, I just want to ask you, how do you feel right now on a scale of one to 10? And if you're feeling okay now, how, how is your average number looking? Where are you in the scale of how stressed you feel? So I recommend if you can try and stand up for this short mindfulness meditation that I'm going to do. So if you have the capacity to just literally stand up, if you don't stay seated, but I do want you to just close down your eyes if you feel safe to do so and just listen to my voice and careful instruction. So firstly, I would like for you to bring your feet together side by side. Keep your toes touching and gently step your right heel out and then your left heel out. Keep your toes touching so you're making this inverted V shape. Now with your feet, keep your heels down and move your toes vertically so they are both directly in front of your heels. Press down with your heels and notice the knife edge of your foot, the ball of your big toe pressing into the floor or shoe if you're not barefoot. Take a deep breath here. Feel all four corners of your feet pressing into the ground. Now, move your attention up to your calf. Notice 
Are you feeling any tightness or tension around this area? Start to relax this part of your body. Move your attention up to and around your knees. If you're locking out your knees, just bring a soft, gentle bend into your knees. Notice any pain or discomfort around the kneecap or behind your knee area. Now, move the attention up to the inside and outside of your thighs. Squeeze your inner thighs, feel your quadricep muscles in front of your thighs, and maybe move your hands around to your glutes. Tuck your tailbone in, squeeze your bum, and push your pelvis slightly forward. Tighten the abdominals ever so slightly, and slightly pulling your belly button towards your spine. Begin to move your attention over to your chest and open up the chest a little bit more. Draw those shoulders down and back. And if you haven't already, open your palms alongside your body and inhale here. Notice any tension around your lower back or your neck and just begin to inhale here. Inhale into those areas that feel a little bit tense and exhale, release any tightness around this space. Take your attention to your face and begin to relax the muscles around your face, all the while noticing your feet are planted into the floor, your pelvis and abdominals are slightly engaged and your chest is open. Notice how your shoulders drop away from your ears and maybe your mouth forms a soft smile. Relax your forehead and the muscles around your cranium. Allow the top of your head to relax. As your body feels a little bit more relaxed, you feel a lot more taller from the bottom of your feet all the way up to the pelvis, to the shoulders, to the top of your head. Feeling stronger than you ever have in a standing position. Let's pause here. Take five intentional breaths with me. I will count each inhale and exhale. So breathe all of the air out of your mouth and let's begin. Inhale for one, Exhale for two. Inhale for three. Exhale for four. Inhale for five. Exhale for six. Inhale for seven. Exhale for eight. Inhale for nine. And exhale for 10. Come back to a normal, natural breath. And when you're ready, slowly open your eyes. And I just want you to just think about how do you feel at this moment? And going back to that number you might have felt at the beginning of the exercise. And take a seat if you haven't already. Think about how you feel now. Now, the reason I wanted to bring this into mind is to give you a summary that you don't need a long session of mindfulness or meditation. Begin with a few minutes of meditation each day. Gradually increase the duration when you become more and more comfortable and confident in what you're doing. It is so important to find a quiet space. So if you can, get to a comfortable spot where you won't be disturbed during your meditation. Focus on your breath. Pay attention to the sensations of your breath as it enters and leaves your body. So that you can use to anchor you in this present moment. And one of my favorites that I've had to use many times is being kind to yourself. Remember that meditation is a practice, 
And it's okay to have wandering thoughts. Simply acknowledge them and then gently guide yourself, your focus back to your breath. Now, it's really funny because sometimes people say, well, how does this relate to the real world? And I wanted to actually take some real world action steps. So meditation and mindfulness doesn't necessarily have to be you're sitting in a chair or standing for that duration of time. How do we practice mindful eating? When was the last time that you paid attention to the taste, the texture, the smell of your food? When was the last time you actually savored each bite without distractions, not having to catch a quick bite between meetings or, you know, rushing your food because you've got something else going on? Are you able to take mindful walks? Are you able to truly slow down, notice the sensations of walking, feeling the feet on the ground, the sounds of nature around you and how your body is moving? And... How are you practicing gratitude? All of these are mindful and meditation practices. You can take a few moments each day to reflect on the things that you're grateful for so you can cultivate this sense of appreciation and abundance. And I know that sometimes it's all well and good to have somebody else talk about it. But looking at other people's experiences, it really does draw upon the everybody is different. Everybody requires different things. Just as us coaches would try and program something for an individual, it's actually asking, what do you need? And when you're understanding what that need is, then you can try and find a solution within that. Some people have found the YouTube videos very helpful. They could find sound bath therapy helpful. It really depends upon what works for you. One of my clients said, I can breathe again. I remember that I hold the key to this connection and heal myself in this space that needs to be created. She wasn't able to acknowledge that she was able to unpack that by herself. She just needed a little bit more encouragement and support. And another client that I worked with, he said that he's tried so many ASMR videos in the last couple of years, and I probably classed him as an expert, but the way that I had translated this online, it gave him a different version of ASMR. It gave him the meditation that was different to anything else that he'd experienced and really, truly valued. So for me, I feel that mindfulness and meditation, they do offer this multitude of benefits for our mental, emotional, physical well-being. And by incorporating these practices into our daily lives, we then can cultivate that peace, that inner resilience, that deeper sense of connection with ourselves and the world around us. And you can find free resources that can support you on your journey. You can either head over to Amazon and purchase my book, Happiness Within, or head over to my YouTube page where you have free mindfulness sessions and there are ASMR ones, there's 30 day, 21 day mindfulness sessions, all that suit you on where you are right now because coaches need coaches too. So find a guided practice. You don't need to create something yourself. And all you need to do is find a small amount of time to fit in this practice. So thank you so much for being present with me on this mindfulness meditation chat.